Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com slash video. If we add multiple tables to a report in Crystal using the Database Expert, you will automatically see the Links tab appear next to the Data tab in this dialog box. Here's where you can view, edit, create, and delete joins between the tables in your report. When you click on the Links tab in the Database Expert dialog box, you will see the tables which you've added to the report and also the associated joins between the tables which you've added to the report. The joins are represented as the thin black lines between the table diagrams which are displayed on this tab. Crystal Reports uses a feature called AutoLink, which automatically creates the necessary links between the indexed fields and the tables which you've added. Sometimes, these may not be the joins that you would like to use in your report. You do have the flexibility to remove unnecessary joins and edit the joins that you wish to keep. You may even create your own joins if necessary and set the properties as desired. If you wish to delete a join between tables, you can click on the link to select it. The link will turn blue when it's been selected. You can then click on the desired button at the right side of the dialog box to make the changes to the selected link. You can click on Delete Link to delete the selected link. You can create the link by clicking and dragging one field and dropping it on top of the related field. You can also click the Link Options button to launch the Link Options dialog box. In the Link Options dialog box, you can set the join type, how to enforce the join, and the link type by selecting the desired option buttons. We'll examine how the choices that we can set in this dialog box will impact the data used for our reports in the following sections. When you've made any changes to the link settings that you wish to apply using this dialog box, you would simply click OK to return to the Links tab in the Database Expert dialog box. Also note that you can right-click on a selected link and choose Delete Link to delete the link or choose Link Options to invoke the Link Options dialog box where you can edit the link settings again. If you wanted to delete all of the links that Crystal Reports generated for you automatically through the Auto Link feature, you can simply click the Clear Links button. A dialog box will then appear asking you if you're sure you want to remove all the links. You can click Yes to delete all the links between all the tables, or click No to retain the links that have been set. When you're viewing the table diagrams in the Links tab, you'll see the tables and the fields. You can click and drag on the titles of the tables to rearrange their position on screen. You can place your mouse pointer over the border of a table diagram until you see your mouse pointer appear as a double pointed arrow. When it does this, you can click and drag to change the size and shape of the table diagrams. This can be helpful to display all of the fields that you need to see within the table sketch. You'll also often see a small right pointing arrow next to some field names in the table sketches. These indicate fields that have an index or sorting order applied to them. The primary key concept discussed earlier is actually a type of index. The color of the index shown indicates which order the index is. You can click the Index Legend button in the Links tab of the Database Expert dialog box to launch the Index Legend dialog box where you can see the color coding used to signify the order of the indexes. The primary key index is the first index. You can actually have several indexes on tables and you can see in the Index Legend that joins on indexed fields tend to produce report results more quickly. When you're finished looking at this dialog box, you can click OK to return to the Links tab in the Database Expert dialog box. In the Links tab, you may also click Auto Arrange to automatically arrange the table diagrams in the Links tab in the most efficient manner for display. You can also have Crystal Reports relink the tables that you've selected if you've cleared the links. 
To do this, first select how to link the fields by choosing either by name to link fields with the same name or by key to link by foreign key assignment. When you've made your desired choice, simply click the link button. If possible, Crystal Reports will then automatically create the links between the tables. Once again, you will need to double check these links to ensure that they will function the way that you would like for your report. When you have more than two tables involved in the Links tab, the order in which the joins between the tables will be enforced will also be of great significance to how the set of records used by the report will appear. You can click the Order Links button in the Links tab of the Database Expert dialog box to launch the Order Links dialog box. And in this dialog box, you can set the order in which the links between tables will be enforced. So for example, we are currently linking from Employees, the Employee ID field, to Orders in the Employee ID field. We know this because when we select the join itself and click on Link Options, we can see at the top it is joined from the employees table, the field employee ID, to the orders table and the field employee ID. Back on the data tab, if we added another table, then back on the links tab, we would be able to click on order links and change the order of the links. We're going to cancel this database expert dialog box in order to look at a report that has multiple tables. So for example, if we were trying to join employees to orders and then perhaps order details, looking at another access database, for example, here called Northwind, which is familiar to many users of access, if we add employees, orders, and then order details. And then look on the links tab. Here we can click order links now. And in the order links dialog box, you can change the order of the links used for the report. To do this, you would select the displayed link whose order you wish to change. And then click the up and down arrows in order to change the execution of the joins. You can check link ordering as enforced, which will ensure that the joins between the tables will be enforced in the order shown. You can also go back and change the order by hand for the tables if needed. So once again, make sure that the links are joined in the order that you need. And then double check it by clicking order links. So from employees, we want to join employee ID to orders employee ID. And then from the orders table, taking the order ID to the order details tables order ID. When you're done setting up the links in the order that you want, you can click OK in the order links dialog box. And then in the database expert, simply click the OK button when you're finished to set the desired links between the tables, which you'll then use in your report. Like what you see? Get your special discount offer on the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com video. 
Over two dozen titles are available in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more.